Crews continue to mount a battle against dozens of raging wildfires. For the latest on that, I want to bring in Shane McCool. He's a spokesperson for Ontario's Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry, and he's in Sudbury this morning. Good morning, Shane. Appreciate you taking time to speak with us. I know you're busy. What's the latest on the fires right now across northeastern Ontario? Yeah, so we have uh, 39 fires active across northeastern Ontario. Uh, of those fires, 14 are, are currently uh, not yet under control, and the remaining fires are either being held under control or being observed for ecological purposes. Uh, now, yesterday we did discover two new fires, but we also extinguished two new fires, or two fires rather. So uh, we have been making progress in the number of fires that, that are active across uh, Ontario. Uh, that said, uh, Perry Sound 33 in particular has been, uh, we have seen some growth in recent days on that fire. What's causing these fires? Is it lightning strikes? Certainly, uh, we're seeing a lot of lightning uh, come through with very minimal precipitation uh, throughout uh, a good part of July. So what that, what that does is, is when lightning ignites and the fuels are dry, uh, that in turn it, it tends to ignite more fires than we typically would see. And how hard are they to battle? Well, certainly when we have, when we're able to get fires, uh, dis when we discover them small and we're able to contain them while they're small, they're much easier, easier to manage. Uh, that said, when we get multiple lightning fires at the same time, uh, resources become taxed and we're not able to staff all those fires. So we will continue to, to, to get those fires uh, while they're small when we're able to, but we, we do have some larger fires right now that we are focusing on as well. Okay, let's talk about the fire that is moving towards the Trans-Canada Highway. What's the latest on that fire? Yeah, so that would be Paris Sound 33, uh, and as I mentioned, we have seen some growth in recent days, uh, and particularly in the northeast side, uh, and that, that section of the fire is our highest priority section of the fire, and we have seen some growth. Uh, uh, we've utilized uh, air attack resources uh, pretty, uh, we've concentrated our efforts in that area, so we will continue to assess that fire and continue to, uh, to use resources to slow it down to the best of our ability. Okay, and do you have, does the ministry have enough resources to handle the fires that are burning out of control, or are you reaching out to other areas for more support? Well, certainly we've reached out to uh, other areas, uh, including across Canada. We've, we've had numerous uh, of our neighbours come to our aid in this time. Uh, we've seen also folks from Mexico and, and the United States. So Mexico alone has sent over 300 firefighters and, and support staff to, to help with the situation here in Ontario. So they have certainly complemented our, our resources here in Ontario in, in, during this time. Okay, and finally, Shane, is this an unusually busy fire season? What's your assessment? Uh, it certainly is busier than, than recent years. We, we have seen busy years uh, going back a few decades, but uh, at this time, uh, it certainly is... Uh, in the, in the recent memory, anyways, more busy than what we've, we've become accustomed to. Okay, yeah, it has been a dry summer. Shane McCool, Fire Information Officer for the Ministry of Natural Resources, appreciate your time with us this morning.